Added the new advisory just in to us and it's still holding on to some strength uh, as we take a look. 165 mile per hour sustained winds with some higher gusts. Now moving towards the west northwest at 10 miles per hour and again getting closer towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico over the next 24 hours. Uh, latest specifics again winds at 165 higher gusts to maybe 200. You can see the track really no big changes in or shifts in the track. We're looking to make it way in towards Virgin Islands and towards portions of Puerto Rico by Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon emerges back to the north of Dominican Republic by Thursday into the overnight and then all models in general agreement of making that curve towards the north and eventually towards the northeast as this system moves towards the Turks and Caicos. Here's a look at the possible position on Friday. Here's a look at the possible position on Saturday and then again on Sunday. And the big picture, you can see this track, it continues to stay east of us here in South Florida, which is great news. And the models have been in great agreement over the past few runs. You can see very compact together over the near term and then eventually they all move towards the north, as you can see, far away from South Florida. So again, Right now, as we see it, no threat to us, and that's pretty good news after Irma has moved through. Back here at home, a few scattered showers from Vero Beach running through the heart of Palm Beach County. Outside of that, it has been a pretty nice day. We'll take